Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel Excel and Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'll disc I'll continue discussion about the overlap PCR. In my previous two videos, I already discussed about the overlap PCR and the the primer design and how to amplify different kind of fragment. So I already said before that um, that how to join this kind of um, fragment. Uh, who is having the flanking region or complement region so there are two steps as i said before there are two steps to join this kind of fragment the step one one the process one the process one is the overlap piece here that i already discussed in my previous video and in this video i am going to talk about the the dna ligase or G gibson assembly kit cloning kit that you can use very easily to join this kind of, of multiple fragments so if you haven't watched my previous videos I will drop that link of the two videos in my description box you can watch that video first and for better understanding you should watch that video first and then after that you can watch this video so let's move on to the tutorial part so first I'd like to talk about the the Gibson assembly cloning kit. So in in uh, very brief overview. So as the name suggests, the one of the scientists, Dr. Daniel Gibson, and and his colleagues, they developed one novel method that is the uh, Gibson assembly, and that is known as the Gibson assembly. And uh, by this way, uh, the multiple DNA fragments can be joined easily at the same time. So what it does actually? So actually, this is a um, premix of three different enzymes. The enzymes are exonuclease, DNA polymerase, and DNA ligase. So exonuclease it uh, acts by by chewing the five prime end, and then it joins the three prime end. And the DNA polymerase, DNA polymerase, it fill the gaps in the annual DNA fragments. And DNA ligase, DNA ligase actually it remove the nicks that created that creates in the in the contiguous DNA fragment. So this kind of three different enzymes that act together in this in premix of the DNA ligase or Gibson assembly cloning kit. And what are the advantages of this Gibson assembly cloning kit? There are there are several advantages like no need any specific restriction site or any any sequence short or long is is no matter or um, there are very few steps in one tube reactions and can combine many dna fragments at the same, same times so is very shortcut way so for better understanding i included the, and there is one in vitro gene protocol that is um, there are different kind of protocols available in the market so um, so according to your which um, which company's protocol you are using which company's com kit are using it depends on your uh, that kit so you have to go through that protocol very carefully before um, starting your experiment so according to so but uh, the basic concepts are all uh, all cases are same so for better exam for better understanding i will i show this example uh, for the in vitro gene protocol so for what according to the protocol here the dna fragments there you see the two different fragments and as well as the linear vector so um, actually the three different part you can join together by this way so what uh, it does the first you have to do in the protocol the DNA obtain the DNA fragments so separately we have to amplify this DNA fragments so after that after that you have to you have to mix your um, the in the preparation of that your samples so in your tubes it contains your DNA fragments different different DNA fragments and vector and your cloning kit that is the Gibson assembly cloning kit and water so these all are together and incubate it for 50 degrees centigrade for 50 to 15 to 60 minutes so if if you see this kind of minimum maximum time 
so you have to consider the average time like uh, or in mean time so um, so by this way you can do uh, but uh, this actually is very is company to company it different com in different company it uh, the temperature or the um, the duration of the time is different so you have to go through that so after that so wh when you get your mixture so after 50, after um, this time when the when this mixture or the reaction will be completed after that you have to you have to do the transformation so from there you have to you have to add to the competent cell and you have to go for the transformation for the rest of the other part and then you have to you have to pick the clones and then uh, the sequencing to confirm that all of the parts are joined together and there is another process another very important part so you can you can find in all of the protocol that is very important that how much uh, reacts how much uh, vector and insert uh, what is the ratio so this ratio actually depends on company to company it varies so here if it is like one to three inserts then the vector is to one is insert it should be one is to one so it means like uh, this is a concentration so the same concentration you can use but if you use little more that's okay no problem but always you have to maintain minimum this concentration so one is to one and um, and uh, this cloning kit should be 10 microliter and the uh, deionized water it if it is um, if it is 10 minus x so if it is x if it is x you can consider it is x so 10 minus x should be the deionized water and total volume should be 20 microliter and incubation time via they are showing 50 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes and also here uh, this is one to three inserts and this is four to five inserts uh, there are you can you can uh, join together multiple uh, fragments but in some cases if you if you use uh, multiple fragments in some cases like in first attempt it not um, not successful so in some cases maybe um, one or two repeats you have to do so by this way you can you can do um, this uh, mm, to ch you can you can join these multiple fragments but this there is an advantage of this cloning kit over the overlap pcr in the overlap pcr for if it is like multiple fragments and if it is very long fragments then it is very hard to join in that case by using the overlap pcr but for the recombinase but for this um, enzyme or, or gypsum assembly kit by if you use this kit so you can use it for long or short fragment no matter or multiple fragments you can use so this is very useful actually and this is very easier so i hope this video will be helpful and um, if you have any qu queries uh, you can write in the comment box if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and support me by subscribing my channel thanks guys